Today I'm working with my friend Kenny. He started his own bus and van conversion company called Terravan. And we are in Asheville, North Carolina. Let's see what projects we have going on today and what Kenny's been working on. All right, the goal for today is we need to wrap these wheel wells, basically make a box out of the wheel wells. This is probably my 12th bus conversion that I worked on and I've never seen a bus with four wheel wells. All buses are different, but we need to wrap the wheel wells, get it ready for insulation, and we need to finish up this subfloor. Just adding this box on top, just putting a few screws in because we still have to put insulation inside here and then insulate the walls at the same time. I'm just doing this just to fit it on here, seeing if it fits okay. I can't get over how high this ceiling is. It's over seven feet. All right, I'm here with Kenny at Terravan. What have you been doing, man? What are we, what's going on? Oh, you got well, a lot of projects. Got a couple projects right now. <laughs> um, currently, we have this bus here, which you've been working on today. Yeah. So we have a 12-inch roof raise. It, wow. it might be officially the smallest roof raise ever on a bus. Yeah. Um, but it makes a huge difference. Right. And the main reason we didn't go longer than or taller than 12 inches is because the bus is only 26 feet in length from bumper to bumper. Okay. So I felt like if we did the typical 20 inch roof raise, we might end up a little bit taller than longer. It's a, <laughs> it's a super unique bus. It, it wasn't a school bus. It is a Bluebird, but it is a, a Navy transport bus. Okay. Wow. So it has a extremely short wheelbase, so it can maneuver yeah. pretty well around almost uh, any obstacles, tight parking, the same size tires um, that you would find on a semi. So typical bus might not have I mean these are 40 inches tall we got a typical RV door on here with a screen what we did here was we chopped the entire bus in half and then we raised exactly one foot so you can see right here this is the hat channel that actually gave us that one foot of lift so our ceilings now 87 inches so that is seven foot three inches and we're on a subfloor that has been insulated too. So we have quite a bit of room in here. Um, as you see right now, there's no windows cut in, um, but it's getting full RV windows with screens. We're gonna call it a rig instead of a bus. Um, it's completely finished. It will look more like an RV than your typical 
schoolie conversion. I think it's the first time I had been in a roof raise. Yeah. I mean, typically I'm like, here, the roof is here on me. Yeah. Typically. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, and so it, just makes, nice, yeah, it makes a huge difference. The nicest thing is, too, when we're in the hallway here, standing on top of the wheel wall, I'm six foot two, and I'm still going to have clearance here on the roof. So to me, that was one of the most important features here because the bathroom and the walls are going to be here, and you're actually using this as an aisle instead of your typical bus where you're going right down the center. So it, it definitely made a huge difference. And like I said, it's 12 inches. You're not going to find one, at least I haven't found one yet, that anyone just did 12 inches. This is a Thomas. I think it's a late 90s Thomas. And it is a front engine dog nose. It's one of the shorter ones. This received a full paint job. Everything on this bus has just been painted. Uh, bumpers, wheels, the entire body has been sanded down. Uh, we're just cutting in and trimming a couple things, sealing up a couple things on the outside. Now you can see this bus does not have a roof raise. <laughs> this bus is at exactly six foot. Uh, so this bus is going to be a super quick build. We're going to have a shower right here. And I think something unique about this bus, which I've seen on a few buses, because when you have the shower off to the side, as you see, we're actually losing more room because of the curve of the ceiling. So what we're going to do on this bus is these two windows will be gone. We're going to put steel over them on the outside, and we're going to cut a section of the roof out and actually raise this up. So we'll probably raise it up about 10 inches. Um, so you'll be able to stand in here and take a shower and it will have like a clear uh, Skylight dome. So when you're in here taking a shower, you can look at the beautiful sky hopefully awesome. And the one thing that's pretty unique on this bus is Usually when you install the air conditioner and heater it will come below this space about another two and a half inches um, So it makes it kind of difficult, but uh, my buddy Luke over at schoolie.com has come up with a kit that actually raises that air conditioner up those two and a half inches. So it will not intrude into our ceiling space at all. And it just, it, it really makes something with auto roof raise, you put an air conditioner in, it's probably the only way to go at this point. If you don't want that in your space. I really like the small buses. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I mean, they're just- If I was to get a bus, it would be a smaller bus. I, I definitely, I like it because this bus fits in a normal parking spot. It's like a, a really long F-250, um, obviously, if you're gonna travel and you want all of those comforts of home, maybe don't go with the small bus. But if you're willing to sacrifice some of that, I think small bus is definitely the way to go. So it looks like you've been busy. You've been doing vans too, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, currently don't have any, but I finished right. up three of them this year. Um, so you can check all that stuff out. Uh, the website is terravan.co. Mm -hmm. Okay. So T-E-R-R-A-V-A-N dot yeah. C-O. Uh, same with the Instagram. Okay. Um, there's a lot of pictures of the vans. Uh, yeah. There's a lot of stuff I haven't posted yet, so right. I need to get back into that <laughs> <laughs> and start. But I've been busy actually building, yeah, uh, creating, moving to a new space. Right. Um, just a lot going on, so. Yeah, everything looks awesome. Thank you. Yeah. I'm happy for the work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>